Unit 1 Activities of Life in Living Beings Hello Buddies! Every living organism begins life as a single cell. Unicellular organisms may stay as one cell but they grow two. Multicellular organisms add more and more cells to form more tissues and organs as they grow. All the living beings get their energy from food. Herbivores like deer and hare feed on plants. Carnivores like lions and wolves eat meat. Omnivores which include pigs, bears and humans eat both plants and animals. Living things have the ability to move in some way without outside help. All living organisms show movement in different ways. The movement may consist of the flow of material within the organism or external movement of the organism or parts of the organism. To be alive is to breathe. All organisms respire. Some just do it differently from others. When living things reproduce, they make new ones. Some reproduce by simply dividing into two parts. Each new part is able to move, feed, grow and perform the other functions of living. In this unit, you will learn about the activities of life in living beings. Unit 1 Activities of Life in Living Beings Several kinds of plants and animals are living around us. There are big animals and small animals and big plants and small plants. These living things look different from one another but they perform some common functions. They grow, feed, move, breathe, respond to stimuli, reproduce and excrete. The living beings perform these functions to stay alive. These are called the vital life activities. Though they perform the same functions, they differ in their ways. Plants do not move and are fixed to the soil with their roots. Fish swims. Frog hops. Birds and some insects fly. And human beings and other animals walk or run on their legs. Growth Living things grow. But non-living things do not grow. Human beings and animals grow and become big in size but do not develop new body parts. They grow to a certain time and then stop growing. But their nails and hair continue to grow. Baby, child, adult, kitten, cat. A plant continues to grow throughout its life. As the plant grows, new branches, new leaves, birds and new flowers grow on it. Plants continue to grow. If a branch of a tree is broken or damaged, a new branch grows in its place. This is called regeneration. But only certain animals have this feature. For example, if the tail of a house lizard is cut off, new tail grows in its place. 
If a starfish loses an arm, new arm is grown. Regeneration in plants Regeneration in animals Feeding Animals cannot make their food like plants. Snakes and fish swallow their food as a whole. They do not chew the food. The herbivorous animals depend on plants for their food. Carnivorous animals eat the flesh of other animals. Feeding Habits of Animals Animals like leeches and mosquitoes suck the blood of other animals. Blood Sucking Animals Green plants like tomato, brinjal, bean, etc. Prepare the food by themselves. They take carbon dioxide from air, water from soil, and light from the sun to prepare starch. This process is called photosynthesis. Some plants like Raphalacia depend on the food made by other plants. These are called parasites. Green plants Raphalacia parasite Plants like picture plant, Nephenthes and Venus flytrap catch insects and digest them. Venus flytrap Picture plant Movement All animals move from one place to other in search of food, shelter and mate. This movement is called locomotion. The organs that help in the locomotion are called locomotory organs. Big animals walk or run on their legs. Birds and some insects fly with the help of wings. Boat-shaped body and fins help the fish to swim in water. Locomotion in animals Animals like leech, snake and earthworm have no locomotory organs. They move with the help of muscles. Snakes have scales on the underside of the body that help in motion. Move with the help of muscles. But plants are fixed. They do not move from one place to another. But their parts show certain movements. Example Sunflower Flower of the sunflower plant moves towards the direction of the sun. Movement in plants Breathing Living things breathe in, inhale, pure air and breathe out, exhale, impure air. This is called respiration. Different living beings have different respiratory organs to take oxygen from air and give out carbon dioxide. Oxygen that is breathed in breaks down the absorbed food and releases energy for life activities. Water animals like fish breathe through gills. Water enters in through the mouth and passes out through the gills. Gills absorb oxygen from water. 
and give out carbon dioxide into water. Respiratory organs in fish Earthworms and frogs breathe through their moist skin. Breathing through moist skin Land animals Mammals Birds and reptiles breathe through lungs. Exchange of gases takes place in lungs. The blood in the spongy walls of the lungs absorbs oxygen and gives out carbon dioxide. Lungs in man. Lungs in bird. Lungs in frog. In plants, respiration takes place through small pores called stomata found on their leaves. Respiration in plants Response to stimuli All living beings react towards heat, light, sound, touch, pleasure, pain, taste, smell, etc. Living beings are sensitive towards these senses. A girl closes her eyes when light falls on her face. A boy feels the pain when a needle pricks his finger. Plants like magnolia and night jasmine bloom only at night. When the leaves of the plant touch me not is touched, it folds its leaves. These are all responses to different actions. Touch me not. Anything that causes a response in a living being is called a stimulus singular. Heat, light, pain, pleasure, touch, smell, etc. are stimuli, plural. Reaction of a living being to a stimulus is called a response. Animals respond to stimuli much more faster than plants.